O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 33. Medical Appointment. The following dialogue is related to Unit 5, Health, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following unit of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 5.4. Medical Appointments Obasi and his wife Lena go through the process of setting up a medical appointment for their child, but end up arriving at their appointment late. Hello, this is the doctor's office. What can I help you with? Hello, I would like to schedule an appointment for my eight-month-old baby. She needs a checkup. All right. Please give me your daughter's health card number, and I will set up an appointment for you. Okay. Her health card number is 1665 FFYZ. Two two nine eight. Thank you. I have the file right here. Let me put you on hold for a few seconds. Thank you. I will wait. Okay. I have scheduled the appointment for your daughter on Thursday, August 20th at 9 o'clock a.m. Thank you very much. We will be there. Lena? Yes? I made a doctor's appointment for our baby daughter. Oh, good. I will write it on the calendar. Two days later, on the day of their doctor's appointment, Obasi and Lena are doing housework when Obasi takes a look at the calendar. What time is it? 9.30 a.m. Oh, no! What is wrong? We had a doctor's appointment today at 9. Oh, no. We completely forgot. I thought it was next week. If we go right now, we might not be too late. Yes. Let us hurry. It is not too far away. I will get the baby ready, and you go grab the medical records. Okay. Obasi, Lena, and their baby take the bus to the doctor's office. and enter the reception area. Hello? We are here for an appointment for our baby? What time is your appointment? It was at 9 a.m., but we made a mistake with the time of the appointment, which is why we are late. Oh, I am sorry. It is 10 o'clock now. If your appointment was at 9 a.m., then the doctor cannot see you now. Please, we came all this way. Is there anything else you can do? No, I am sorry. There is nothing we can do about it now. The doctor is very busy, and appointments are scheduled one after another for the whole day. We must follow the schedule to be fair to everyone. Otherwise, if someone shows up late, it will affect the appointments of all the other patients that day. We have no other available time today. Okay, we understand. We do not want to affect anyone else's appointment. Since it is your first time being late, we will not make you pay a penalty. But if you are late next time, we will have to charge you a fee, since we could have scheduled another patient for this slot. It is important to be on time for any medical appointments. Shall we reschedule you for another day? Yes, please. When is the doctor next available? On August 27th, one week from today. Would that work for you? We can make it later in the day. What about at 11 a.m.? Yes, 
that would work for us. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right. We will come back next week. And this time, we will write down the date and time and make sure that we do not forget. If it would be helpful, we can also give you a call the day before as a reminder. Yes, I would really appreciate that. All right, I am confirming the appointment in the system now. And you are all set. We will see you next week on the 27th at 11 a.m. Great, thank you so much. Yes, and we apologize again for showing up late. It will not happen again. It is okay. Have a good day. You too. Goodbye. Next time, we will have to be on time. I think after this experience, it would be hard to forget how important it is to be on time. Agreed. End of Dialogue Unit